People are coming in. They're hungry. Amos, by God's permission, taught us there's a famine in the land. And it is. Not for bread and not for water, but for hearing the word of God. Famine. People are starving. They got everything else. They're hearing everything else. Seeing everything else. But God's word. And the devil is really trying. He wants the truth of God to negotiate with him. We're not negotiating with the devil about nothing. For us, it's plain and simple. It's God's way or no way. I don't think you need revelation for that. It's God's way or no way. So we are determined to hold to God's way. To all the churches in Africa, we thank God for all of you. Bishop Elder Simbali of the Alling of Mauritius. I'm, I'm, I'm paging you. I'm, I'm so sorry that I missed your call. God willing, I'll be getting in contact with you this week. To all the brothers on, and sisters on the Alling of Rodriguez, we thank God for all of you also. All the saints in Australia and throughout all the Caribbean, all of India to our new congregation. I believe Pastor Demetrius Youssef in Singapore, the whole group came out of the fake Christian organization, the UPCI. All these organizations got all type of alphabets. UPCI, FX, UPS, they came out. People are starting to re-investigate their salvation to make sure it's right. People who've been claiming the Holy Ghost for years now, reevaluating themselves, making sure they got the same thing they got in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. Nothing wrong with going back to the drawing board. In fact, I believe in the book of Revelation it talks about do your first work over. Nothing wrong with getting it right. I received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue when I was 11 years old in 1974. In a Tuesday night prayer meeting. Amen. I know I got it right. But if I had the slightest doubt I got that thing like they have it on the day of Pentecost. If I would have had the slightest doubt, nothing would have stopped me from going back on my knees, crying out to God all over again. Because when I stand before him, I don't want to guess that I have the Holy Ghost. I want to know that I have it. So then I can say, you gave it to me. Huh? Something I can't feel until I see the preacher. Mm -mm. Something I can't feel until I see a brother. Or something. No, 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 no. I want to be sure. And viewers, and you that are here, you want to be sure you have the Holy Ghost. That's the gift that comes from God. When they come from God, I cannot manipulate it. I can't start it, and I can't stop it. Thank God if you break out speaking in tongue and someone put a paper bag over your head, that paper bag won't stop you from speaking in tongue. I'm hallelujah, glory to God. The Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift come from above and it come down from the father of lights mean the God of direction of whom there is no veritable nor 
shadow of turning. So it's good to know you got the Bible, Holy Ghost. Bible baptism, Bible salvation. You know, since people all over social media have been watching the truth of God, other churches and other religions posting their baptism. They want other people to know that the truth of God don't have a monopoly on it. That's all right. It's good that other churches show their baptism, folk. It's good. Now you can see what I've been preaching about. There's someone who constantly now, every time I preach about the baptism, they constantly comment on the message. Why is it this man won't baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Why you won't do it? I do. Every time we baptize, we baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We call that name. We call that name all the time. We baptize. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No more than my name is son, husband, and father. I'm a son by birth, husband by marriage, father, because my wife and I got seven kids. My name ain't son, husband, and father. My name is Jennings. So if I do something in my name, I got to call my name or you have to use my name. If you're baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and the preacher just say, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not baptized. Who? Nobody. Or if God is only one thing, one way, one gospel, one truth, and this is it. And this is your opportunity to get right God's way, not Pastor Jennings' way. I know so many of you can't stand me, and that's all right. Try to blame this message on me because it burns your britches. Amen. And say, I'm arrogant, I'm mean. I'm none of those things. I'm a nice preacher. <laughs> Amen. I'm a nice preacher. I guess I want you to know that if you're baptized in the title, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're going to hell. That's what a nice preacher would tell you. I want you to know that. All that are baptized simply Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and not in the name like Jesus said, do it. You're not baptized. You're not saved. I don't care if you're a preacher. You're just a sinner. Amen. All right, let's dive into the Bible.